Hello, and welcome to Warm, Sunny and Windy Cornwall Show 2023. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome. So it is that bright that I've got my sunglasses on. And here we go. So, as I said repeatedly, massive great big show around where I live. And this is show day. So there is so much footage, things to film and do, there is no way I could get it in, in one day's filming, which is what I got. And it's also a family day, so I'm here with my family, and it's so much for them to do as well. Uh, so this is going to be a video showing the best bits, odds and sods, bits and bobs, whatever I can get my hand on. Uh, so yeah. Happy days, here goes. So the farmers have a certain look to them and it's great seeing them all together dressed in their finery. And as it goes, the farmers wives has a certain look to them as well. And it's great that they're both celebrated here. And obviously there's tons of agricultural machinery and companies for them to look at. As well as the flower tent, which I'll be showing you in the next video. Lots of food, Cornish Yarg there, which, which is great to sample. And of course, gin. Gin is everywhere right now, in case you weren't aware, and Cornwall Show was no different. And there's also street performance, which was pretty cool. Even though it was very windy, they still put on amazing shows for everyone. And tons of colleges and universities also have lots of exhibitions and displays. And I thought I'd give a go on the racing car simulator. There is also celebrating the best of Cornish there, so I will be showing other bits that were there as well. But first, let's play a game. So this yellow reflector is going to slowly start the next slide and zoom out from it. Shout out when you know what it is. If you guessed that, well done. Don't know why you'd need a yellow reflector on the wheel though, as if you wouldn't see it. And this is a combine harvester. I always wondered what's inside them, other than instant death obviously, so it's quite nice to have a nose around machinery that I'd only ever see out in the fields. And of course, big tractors, you need big trailers. Amazing how clean it is. And so, to the main ring. Now, it's really windy, so I'm just playing some background music over at the top here. But it's really essential for the commentators, and it's worth listening to what they have to say as I don't have a clue about horses or these carriages or anything about this but it was fascinating to watch and I cannot help but respect the uh, style and effort it takes into doing all these things and you know what, well done to everyone involved it was amazing to see and me and my kids really enjoyed it so that concludes the video thanks for watching and this should be the start of a playlist of a couple of videos with other things from the show in. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. The quality of the deck, the strength, the strength of the cannonballs, the deadlocks, and that powerful neck all the way through. The power of the section D's transports itself society and that through the area commissioners and through the regional learn how to drive if they 
doesn't sign you. It is a wonderful, wonderful way to spend the week. We go uh, to reverse. On such a fee. So many uh, livery companies, so many trades involved in producing this. The uh, carriage builders. Brothers made this. Famous carriage uh, makers up in Yorkshire, 1900s, maybe a little bit later. So we get these vehicles. So they'll be called in 